What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all, we about to get into three, technically three quick topics. First of all, send me any TikTok stories that got like some, like something happened, some tea. Send me some TikTok tea. And send me some tea in general. I love them worldly videos that somebody was out with, uh, you know, who they thought was their man. And then they ended up being with another man by the end of the night. That's the story that we just reacted to. Bloofus apologize to NLE Chopper's mama. None but respect for mom. I'm going to let it go. Uh, it's good. Much apology if you felt offended. Now, this nigga won't even apologize to his own mama. Am I the only one who thought that first? And where is Carlissa at? Because I would be pissed. <laughs> nigga, did you really just come out and apologize to her but didn't apologize to me at all? Anyway, so let me know what y'all think about that um, because I would have been pissed. Now, Krishan. Y'all know Krishan been missing, girl. We can't get you no tea on Krishan if she ain't giving out the, the tea herself. But anyway, Krishan said been ducked off for a reason, right? Which, of course, we know why. I feel like I know why she been ducked off. But I'm going to tell y'all why I say that. Because she said, separate yourself from compromising. Girl, she she is running away from blue. Okay? And thank God. I just wish in, instead of her running to buy and rent Airbnbs, she just get her a house in another state. Now, I really don't think she want to stay at home. And if I was her, I wouldn't stay at home because of my sisters, to be honest with you. Everybody like this idea. But um, I would not, and I repeat, I would not be in L.A. I would go to Houston or something. You know what I'm saying? Houston or, um, girl, don't go to Memphis. Uh, definitely don't go to Miami because, Lord knows, she, she going to be having too much fun. Um, I mean, hell, even Vegas. I just wouldn't be in L.A. I think Krishan is doing her best to get the hell away from him because um, she don't want to compromise. Like, he wants her to deal with certain things and still pay the piper and still do what he tell her to do, 222 in the chat, and she don't want to do that. So with that being said, I truly think Krishan is separating herself from Blue, and the way of doing that is running. I, I think that's what she's doing. Um for her to be, I can't even say Krishan's a victim because she the one who keep inviting him in. But clearly, you got to do something to get away from that fool. Jaden keep getting caught up in the mix because, you know, she the one who got the two kids, especially the two kids that have been here the longest. We all know that because he don't treat Junior the same. With that being said, um, I definitely think that she is afraid and she got the fuck missing. Now, I think Krishan will whoop his ass and hit him over the head with a Hennessy bottle. I do. But I do think that he controls her mind to the point where she feel like she afraid of him, even though she'll give him a run for his money and probably take his ass cool and clean up out of here. I think she still has some type of nervousness to him. OK, so um, that's just what I think. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. All right, y'all, we about to get into Boosie. He said, I'm grateful he did. I'm grateful what he did for me. Boosie reacts to Cat Williams um, interview with Shannon Sharp. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to get into the Cat Williams thing, because I don't know. Like, that's not in my algorithm, so I don't know. Let me know what y'all put it down in the comments. Let's get into it. No, bro. Be sure to like, comment. And subscribe. Nino Brown is a fantasy. Boosie is reality. Nino Brown came with Boosie. Nigga, open your eyes. I did way more shit in the streets than Nino Brown. Real talk. One thing that nigga Boosie gonna do. I ain't got nothing to say about the K. Williams situation. I don't know about nothing about that. I know he a real me. Like I say, bro, I came home, I ain't had nothing. The man invited me to his concert. I mean, front row seats. When I was leaving, gave me $15,000. That's real shit. Nah, that is a real nigga. I ain't gonna lie. This whole situation with Cat Williams just proves just how much of a real nigga he is. Like, real niggas is backing him up. That's some real nigga shit. <laughs> Boosie, I ain't saying Boosie ain't no real nigga. 
He just do too much when it comes to the rainbow. I wish he stayed on the opposite side of it because that would be the non-rainbow side. That's the straight side. Stay over there. You know what I'm saying? Quit coming over here minding the gay business that ain't supposed to be minding you. Everybody else was screaming my name, all kind of celebrity. They ain't even give me a speak. They ain't even speak to me when I came up. That man gave me $15,000. I ain't even know him, bro. That's, where That's all I can say. You know how many celebrities was out of free boots? When I saw him, they ain't even acknowledged me. That's crazy. That man gave me fifteen thousand dollars. What people doing that? He did that from the heart, man. He knew what I had been through, bro. The man knew what I had been through, bro. Maybe all the other niggas didn't know what he been through. I don't know. Never Last time I know of blue uh blue face. Last time I know of Boosie, um going to prison and shit that nigga was smoked a blunt right before he went in that's that's literally what i remember from him going to prison because we was young and we was hurt <laughs> why the hell they gonna take boo say boo you know how you get that steak dub they mad about that color purple <laughs> i wasn't around k williams i mean i don't know what's, i mean all i know is to me he a real nigga, bro you know what he did for me, I never forget that, man. I mean, and I'm I'm, I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful what he did for me and my family. You know, and it's different because he didn't even know me, bro. Yeah, the man invited know. me, gave me front row seats. I went home a week, two weeks, bro. When I was leaving the concert, he gave me 15k. Bro. Never forget that. I needed yeah, fifteen thousand. Great. That money too. Bro. So I ain't commenting on what was said or nothing like that. I just know he a real to me. Bro. There was plenty of other successful people hollering free boosted, bro. But they ain't show me no love. Bro. I wonder who boosted and gave some money too. Like as far as a celebrity that just got out of prison or something. I mean, Cat Williams, bro. Probably nobody, because then nobody look out for his ass. <laughs> he did some of the really shit out of Dude got a good heart, bro. So I wish him the best in anything he ever do, you know? I will say, Cat Williams don't bother nobody till people get to bothering him. I feel like everybody he came at, they said something about him. And I think they thought he wasn't going to say nothing back, but everybody know Cat Williams going to say something. 333 in the chat. I ain't seen him since, bro, but when I see him, I'm definitely going to bless him, bro. Yeah, you can text him, I mean. And I keep 15, 20 in my pocket at all the time. And he one of the funniest I ever saw in stand-up. I've never seen nobody funny like Cat Williams in stand-up. That's the if I see him for me. When they can just DM a nigga, you, hey, you going to eat something? You know what I'm saying? I need to holler at you. End up him and Eddie Griffin and Mike El Eddie Griffin, the motherfucker boy. It's a bad motherfucker too. Him and see Cat Williams, bro. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Man, this nigga did a joke about <laughs> the ladies. Who be done who be on them commercials with them holes in their throats from smoking cigarettes? <laughs> Stand up, Cat Williams, a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. This is the funniest stand up. Bro. That nigga dying laughing. My favorite comedian of all time, Bernie Mac. I mean, but stand up, Cat Williams is <laughs> Cat Williams. He came to New Orleans and he put on a show, bro. I mean. He tickling that nigga. He just trying to eat his little steak. <coughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, child. I had another video for y'all, but it yellow boy. So I will be doing other content. I do other content all the time. It's just, are y'all going to see it?
know what I'm saying? So we working on that part. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.